Hello, and welcome back to my channel, Single Mom Review. If you would, stop for one second, look down below and click that subscribe word. Right next to that word is a little bell. Click on that bell and make sure that it's completely shaded in so that you get notifications anytime I do any video uploads. And please give this video a thumbs up and comment down below. I'm jumping on to share with you a PR item that I received to do a review on. And it is the KRX Ultrasonic Cleaner. Um, I did go on Amazon just to get a little bit of information. This is the Ultrasonic Cleaner Portable KRX Professional Ultrasonic Jewelry Cleaner for glasses, rings, gold, silver, diamonds, coins, watches, or dentures. A household cleaner ultrasonic machine. The retail price for this on Amazon is $39.99. They do have a $10 off coupon on the Amazon. You just have to click the box, which means you would get it for $29.99. This is the KRX 450 ml portable ultrasonic cleaner. 47,000 HZ of ultrasonic energy waves create billions of microscopic cleansing bubbles. Generous 15.2 ounce capacity, food grade, 304 stainless steel liner ABS plastic shell. Suitable for cleaning, most jewelry, watch, watches, watch bracelets, glasses, braces, waterproof razors, makeup brushes, and various other items. One button operation, four modes to choose from. It has the minimalist design, compact shape, and it's easy to carry. 360 degree all around high effective cleaning. The powerful 47,000 HZ ultrasonic waves with the 18 watt ultrasonic trans transducers can efficient and fast clean that won't damage valuables. The SUS 304 stainless steel adop adopts food grade stainless steel. Stainless steel liner prevents rust, scale, corrosion, and oxidation from damaging the inside of the machine. It is 7.87 inches by 3.63 inches by 3.46 inches. The minimalist design and portable size, it's convenient to, store, to storage or carry no matter you use at home or take to travel. Step number one is you're going to add water below the max line. Step two is you're gonna put items on the shelf. Step three, select the length of time. And step four, ultrasonic cleaner starts to work. It deep cleans watch bracelets, glasses, and razor heads, lets you glow, glow the male style and charm. No friction, clean, no friction clean your earrings, necklaces, and bracelets to make you dazzle in the crowd. Whether it's pacifiers, children's toothbrushes, or children's toys, they can all be cleaned for parents' peace of mind. What can be cleaned? Glasses, eyeglasses, reading glasses, sunglasses without pre-existing scratches or crack in the coating office supplies, rulers, scissors, pins, seals, etc. Daily supplies, toothbrushes, razors, blades, combs, etc. Jewelry, rings, necklaces, earrings, etc. Tableware, metal tableware, ceramic tableware, dentures, etc. What cannot be cleaned in here is the anything wood any wooden articles, gems with softer surfaces welded materials, electroplated metals, and adhesive with low hardness, bonded gemstones, items with scratches and cracks. So let's open this up. I'm really excited about my glasses. Um, you know, I wear my glasses all the time and they just get all kinds of stuff in different grooves and so forth and I'm always thinking they need cleaned. Here it is, it's all packaged nicely in here. your different buttons there and that's where you plug it in all right here is the charger got some directions and this is a little plate that can go in there Okay, the buttons, it looks like it has your on and off button. And then this is your 
This is your glasses mode. You push that for glasses. This is jewelry mode. This is makeup tools mode. And this is all anything the others mode. So you can click any of those that you're putting in here to clean. The glasses mode, the cleaning time is 120 seconds. The jewelry mode is, the cleaning time is 180 seconds. The makeup tools mode, the cleaning time is 240 seconds. And the others mode is the cleaning time is 300 seconds. Okay, the principle of ultrasound, the ultrasonic cleaning is based on the captivation effect caused by the vibration of high frequency ultrasonic waves in the liquid. Microscopic bubbles are formed. These employ cause the captivation which creates an intense scrubbing action on the surface of the item being cleaned. The bubbles are small enough to penetrate microscopic crevices, clean them thoroughly. Open the lid and fill the stainless steel tank with water. Do not run the device without water, it may damage the device. Put the objects in the water, the object should be completely immersed, do not exceed the max level. Connect the power adapter to an outlet, the power indicator lights up on white, Press the power button to select the cleaning mode. The indicator light turns on and starts working in a few seconds. At the same time, the power indicator is on green. When the cleaning is over, the indicator, the indicator turns off and the device stops working automatically. If you press the button during the cleaning mode, during the cleaning process, the device turns into standby mode. After, clean, after the cleaning process is finished, pull out the power adapter and remove the objects. Finally, empty and dry the stainless steel tank. If you're just wanting to do a general cleaning, you can use clear water for general cleaning. The object should be completely immersed. However, the water should not exceed the maximum fill level. If you're wanting to do a thorough cleaning, in order to obtain better cleaning results, you may add a few drops of the universal detergent. For professional cleaning purposes, special cleaning detergent can be used. Find out which concentrate is suitable for your objects to be cleaned and the type of contamination. I'm super excited to try this. And it talked about the max level line and that is right there where it's showing you to not let the water go over the top of that. All right, we're gonna take out our plug-in adapter here. this in. It's just like a little USB end. I'm going to plug it in. Okay, it went in. And now I'm going to plug this in. Okay, I have it plugged in and as you can see it's lit up above the on and off button. And this is the little tray um, that you can put down in the bottom if you're going to do like some jewelry, necklaces, earrings, bracelets, something that keeps them right here on the tray and they're not all around inside the container. But I am going to do glasses. And so I'm not going to be using the tray. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I have my water bottle here and I am going to fill up this container. As you can see, the max line is right there. And then I'm also going to add just a drop of Dawn dish soap. It's a pretty universal detergent that cleans about everything. Just put a little dot in there. I'm actually going to just go ahead and stir it up with my fingers here. Okay, now I'm ready to put my glasses in. Alright, and if I push this button once, it will go to glasses. If I turn it off again, and if I push it two times, it goes to the next one. Turn it off again, and I push it three times, it goes to the next one. And then if I turn it off again, and I push it four times, it goes to the last. Um, 
that's how you get the difference. There's glasses, the jewelry, the makeup tools, and then you can see that. Just wanted to show you how each of them, how that worked. All right, now I'm going to push it once for the glasses. And it's done. So I'm going to take the glasses out. And I'm going to stop here and then wipe these off and get back on. I'm back. Um, I am in a different shirt. I just washed my hair again so it's not straight, but whenever I got off previously, I was summoned by a child of mine, and so I didn't use the cleaner or get back on, but I did use the cleaner this evening, and I'm back on now. But just wanted you to know why I'm in a different shirt, and my hair's kind of frizzy, curly, just got out of the bathtub, than what it is in the previous segment of this video. So, just letting you all know, you know, single mom life, you never know what's going to occur. But, on to the product. I dried the glasses off. They look really clean. My thoughts are the machine worked okay, but I just would have liked to have seen a little more bubble action to make it look like the water was moving more. Um, I could definitely see some waving in the water and then they call them microscopic bubbles. And so maybe the bubbles, you know, maybe I'm not supposed to be able to see the bubbles, but I had a detergent. And I would have thought the water would have moved enough to have at least made that detergent bubble a little, or, or at least suds a little. And I didn't see that. I feel like it wasn't much more than putting something in water and letting it sit. That's what I felt like. Um, and maybe I'm entirely wrong, but that's my honest opinion on how I felt about the ultrasonic cleaner. To me, it was more hassle to get that out, fill it with water, put a little detergent in there, and then not see any more action than what was going on. Huge shout out to the company for sending it to me and letting me try it because they don't know what consumers expect and or what consumers want until they do things like that. So, you know, they're asking my opinion and so that, that is my opinion. Everything worked correctly. Um, you know, my glasses did feel cleaner afterwards I just didn't feel like it was much more than setting something in water with a little soap and it getting clean that way. Once again, huge shout out to the company for sending it to me and letting me try it and giving them feedback as to how it worked and what possibly consumers are looking for and give them information on how to better the product. And I will be talking to y'all again real soon. Bye.